All right, today we're gonna to talk about how to market. You know, I'm not gonna talk about that at all. That's the wrong words. Today we're gonna to talk about how to prioritize your marketing ideas. If you're in a marketing department or you work with the one, you're probably facing this problem of like, you got a lot of ideas, a lot of them suck. To be frank, they do suck. They're gonna have bad ideas. So let's talk about prioritizing your ideas. First and foremost, before you do anything to prioritize your ideas, figure out your freaking goal. What is your North Star, as Sean Ellis would say? But what is your goal? Is it, is it, is it 100 new customers? Is it million dollars in revenue a year? What, whatever, $10 million, whatever it is. Work backwards from your goal, simple. Uh, but you forget to do that when you come up with ideas. It's right brain, left brain thinking, they don't get along anyways. Number two is identify weaknesses in your marketing funnel. You've got some, figure out where they are, typically not enough traffic or your conversion sucks or you don't get enough customers turning into advocates, whatever it may be, you've got problems there, figure out where they are because you usually want to um, solve them. Number three is to work backwards from your goal. I already mentioned this earlier but I'm gonna say it again because it's that important. You've got your goal, I wanna get 100 new customers, every marketing activity will likely be, or those ideas should likely be, things that are gonna help you get your 100 customers, really, really simple. Number four, use the ICE framework to prioritize your ideas. There's a link to the doc in the description or a template you can use. Uh, essentially, this will wait based off of the ease of implementation, the impact it's gonna have on your business, and a few other uh, factors, and help. hopefully what this will do is float all the good stuff, the high impact stuff to the top, the things that are really easy to knock out, and the crappy stuff to the bottom, and over time, the stuff at the bottom will kinda get old and rot and die. So, or maybe you'll, you'll remove it manually, because Things can't die on a spreadsheet, at least not the ones I use. All right, number five, brainstorm ideas that can actually solve your goals. Look, get your team, get the whole company around, and you know that goal that you just created and the one that you're working backwards from? Brainstorm ideas that can actually solve that goal. Oftentimes, marketers come up with these crazy ideas and they forget the goal that they're working on. And so, cut the goal, come up with ideas around that goal. And better yet, get your engineering, get your customer support, get your sales team, get your CEO involved. That's gonna really help solve the goal. All right, number six, add details about the prediction and the ROI that's gonna come from your idea. So uh, you got these ideas, you, you know, get everyone together, your CEO comes with a bunch of ideas. It's your job, and this is why the ICE framework is really awesome, is put all this stuff together, add in the details, like what's this, gonna, what's this idea gonna do for me? What's the likelihood of prediction? And how much is this going to get me? Is this going to get me closer to my goal? Or is this going to get me, well, can't get you further, hopefully not. But um, what is it going to do for you? Figure that out. At Mailshake, we have a metric that we focus on every quarter. Right now, it's retention. Hence, me doing the customer success role for a while. Um, so right now, our goal is retention. So all of our product improvement ideas, all of our marketing ideas, all, all centered around that. The whole company bands together to really focus on this metric. And... In the few months we've been working on it, we've chipped away. It's gotten better because we're doing it as a group. All right, last tip here is marketing is often siloed. So make sure you share the knowledge with the rest of your company and invite them to add their own ideas. So get your CEO, get your engineers, get the sales people, get the support people. My best ideas have come from support because those guys on the front line talking to your customers, same with sales. So those are where the best ideas are probably gonna lie. Get them to contribute. Look, they're going to have some bad ideas, but it's okay. It's better than them not contributing at all. So there you have it, guys. Now you know how to prioritize your marketing ideas. Now go do it. What are you waiting for?